Hi everyone, it's Ryan with Sacramento Appraisal Blog and today I wanted to show you how to make a scatter graph using historical data in MLS. So you could make graphs like this, uh, all land sales in North Sacramento since 1998. Pretty astounding, huh? Or here's all model match sales in Rosemont for the 1288 model over the past, you know, 12 or 14 years all one bedroom condo units in Davis. It's kind of helpful, a visual portrayal of the market, what's going on. Here's all sales in, Sun, in the River Park neighborhood of Sacramento. Here's one graph I used to help show how one high sale was really an outlier compared to everything else of similar size. And so that was helpful for, I think, my appraisal report and also maybe my client. Here's another graph, um, all sales in the Bluffs and Fair Oaks. Here's all sales in the Hillsdale Oaks uh, condos. Pretty uh, remarkable downtrend, wouldn't you say? Uh, here's all mount model match sales in Eastern Galt for a particular size, 1218 GLA. Um, and here's all sales in the Coventry neighborhood in uh, Elk Grove. And I want to show you how to make this graph in particular and go through some steps. Now, I've done a... Uh, another video, please click on the link to check this out because that will give you a basic background of how to use numeric. Okay, I, I won't go too fast here, but I do want to definitely go a little bit uh, more quickly uh, than I would because that video is there. So make sure you check out that one first if uh, you find that I'm going too fast here. So I'm in MLS. I typed in a particular address on Napton Way in the Coventry neighborhood. If you don't know this neighborhood, it's off of Sheldon and Elk Grove Florin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the shape and I'm going to go to Polygon and I'm going to draw boundaries around this specific neighborhood because all I want are to, is to export sales from this area. Okay, I'm going to scroll down and let's see, get rid of all the actives. And all I want to do is have all the sales. So right now in MLS we can go back about four years and so I'm going to export all I can from all the current sales. I go up here, click export, and go down to Realty Tools without photos, click submit, and to zip file and I am going to save this on my desktop here, Coventry Sales. Okay, and I'm going to open that, and it's a zip file. I'm going to extract all files. Click yes, I want to extract it, and I'm going to open it up in a program. I'll go to open with. I'm going to open it up with a program called Numeric. Um, I'll paste the link below, but basically, Numeric is a free version of Excel. Uh, open source software, that's what I use. Um, you can definitely go download that. You can do the same thing in Excel though here. Okay, so now what I want to do, if I want to get this graph to work properly and plot properly, I need to left click on the sold price. Okay, that highlights a whole column and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to cut. And what I'm going to do is paste that to the right of the sold date. Okay, this helps the X and Y axis uh, work properly. I'm going to delete highlight uh, and hold down everything else. I'm going to delete all this data because I don't want you know bedroom count or anything else because I only want to deal with this. Okay, now um, this is all the data in the neighborhood, all sales over the past four years. But this neighborhood was built in 2007, so there's definitely some sales before that. So I'm going to go to search. Going to go, going to go to archive because I want to get those 2007 sales. Now the great thing is that you can get sales, um, and I'm just going to put all sales after the year 2000. I know there weren't any then, but that'll make sure that I get them all. Uh, if you didn't know this was here in the archive search, this is how you can actually uh, draw a, um, a map of all. Um, draw a particular neighborhood and uh, get all sales there. It's pretty darn amazing. So, um, Napton Way, 95624, and basically we're going to do the same thing we did before, uh, but this is with the archive search. Okay, so let's draw a map around the neighborhood. Only here, because we don't want to get anything from Camden Passage or any of the surrounding community. And uh, preview count, how many sales are there? Okay, here there's only 27. Okay, so let's go to view results. Now the difference here is that you can't export data the same way that I just did. Okay, so here's where it gets a little bit clunky. So go to one line grid. Okay, you don't want this standard view. 
And unfortunately, the only way to get this data out, it, it's kind of a clunky way that I'll show you in just a second. Um, you have to highlight this, so left click and grab everything there. Okay, then a shortcut to copy, control C, and open up Microsoft Word, and then click control V, which is the shortcut to paste. Okay, and so this is kind of kind of clunky, but it's the only way I know how to do it to export um, data. So basically, you want uh, the sold date and sold price. So you're going to highlight these two columns, left click, holding down till I got them all, and then Control C. Okay, so I just copied that. That's short shortcut. Excuse me to copy, and then I can place um, my mouse you know, uh, in one box and then put control V and then that just pasted all the data there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is that I can highlight these columns by left clicking and going over that one and then push control and then that'll enable me to highlight something else. Okay, so I've highlighted both of those. Now I'm going to click insert a chart Show, sa show sample, that's what basically what it's going to look like. Go forward, and then here's really where I can just, you know, give, give my chart a title. Let's see, all sales in Coventry neighborhood Elk Grove, okay, or whatever I want to call it. I'm going to put, let's see, another title on there, and at the end, I'm going to put, I'm going to, I could, if I want to post this online, I'm going to make sure to put my website on there because in case anyone else uses it, which is fine, then I want to make sure that they will um, make uh, point to my website and show that I created this. And so um, I'm just going to change some of the colors. If you notice, a lot of my graphs are blue. I don't know. Maybe I had some sort of blue infatuation. Not sure what's going on there. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of this outline. Don't want that. No, no, no. I do want that. Okay, and then x-axis, we're going to add an axis line, and then we're going to add a label to say all sales, say January 2007 to September 2012. Okay, the y-axis, we're going to add an axis line, and then we're going to add a label that says all sales in MLS or sales price in MLS. There might be some private sales, but I don't have access to all those. And we're also going to, on this one, let's make sure that the major ticks are 20,000 so that we can see them a little bit more. Okay, the last thing, let's go down to plot. And then um, I posted two series. There are two series of data, so I just want to make sure that so this is all the same neighborhood data that I make it look the same, okay? Uh, the default is blue and pink. Well, I'm going to make sure that it all looks the same because it's all the same data. Now the great thing is that if you import different types of data, say for example, um, all two bedroom sales in this neighborhood and you want to compare that to every single sale, it's great because then you can make all the two bedroom sales maybe pink triangles and then everything else can be blue circles. So then that way you can maybe show your client or someone, hey, here's how the market historically has viewed the difference between the two bedroom units and everything else. And it's very convincing. Click insert and then I'm going to left click and then draw my map okay then all I need to do is right click then I can save the image to my desktop but basically that's how you do it that's and you can create so many different graphs like this it's so powerful to show something visually now the only other thing I want to show you is that um, in MLS if you're exporting data sometimes in a neighborhood like if I took all sales in Curtis Park or River Park you know, I might have three, four hundred, you know, five hundred sales over a you know ten or twelve year period, and so it's going to be a lot of cutting and pasting. Unfortunately, you can't export everything all at once. So I'm gonna, I would export this. You know, go to go to Microsoft Word, and then up here it might say you know page one of ten. Then I'm gonna have to click, or page one of one. Then I'm gonna have to click over to the second page, export that, and then ultimately. I'm just going to have a whole lot of pasting into my numeric file. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope that was helpful. If you're a local agent and you want to sit down, hey, uh, you know, I'd be happy to show you what I know here and if you, if you feel like it would increase your skills and make you marketable to your clients. So anyway, hey, take care. Thanks. Bye.